Okay, guys, uh, uh, one interesting thing is the lights just flickered on and off in my room, but that's not the purpose of this video. Uh, the purpose of this video is to review the Sharper Image Mecha Rivals robots that I just got for my birthday last week. So, um, as you can see, we have the Sharper Image box, uh, Mecha Rivals box right here. It says, Built to Brawl on it, and you can see they have some really nice detailed artwork of the two robots. And the two remote controls, uh, as you can see, I'll outline some of the features. It has lights and sounds, so the robots um, have some really nice sound effects. Their speakers, I'll, is, uh, their speakers are on the back right here, on the back of their, uh, uh, right underneath the power switch. And um, the same for the other robot. And uh, wireless control, which you can see with the remotes. And as dual modes, um, which uh, there's two different gameplay styles. You can play with one, uh, two people, either with one person on this remote and one person on this remote. Or you can just turn on one remote and just control one robot while the other robot has computer controls. And so, um, and also we have ejector seats, so... The purpose of this, uh, these robots is um, when they're fighting each other, uh, when one robot punches the other robot's chest button, the head pops off. And you can see that the head is actually just the person who's piloting the mech. They have some really detailed artwork on that. So I really like how this turned out. So I'll just go ahead and put this back on. And, um, now I'll show you the other side of the packaging. And, uh, this is basically the box that the robots came in. Their names are Jib, the red one, and Jab, the white one. So you can see Jab right there. And, um, you can also see this is the box they came in. I believe, if I remember correctly, the red one was here. And the white one was here in the box. So that's what they looked like when the packaging first came in. So that's a look at the box. And just go ahead and slide this out of the way. So now we'll take a look at the products and the instruction manual. Uh, the robots... Basically, what you come, what the robots, what you entail on the package is these two robots, Jib and Jab, and also the respective remotes, um, and also the instruction manual. Um, you can see just this. Basically, you can see challenge mode, which is where you play as, like I said, you play as one robot and the other one is computer controlled. And it just automatically starts moving, which I will demonstrate later on. And versus mode where two different people are controlling the remotes. And then this is a combo punch where you can, again, it's outlining the punch, the butt chest button, and that pops off. See, this is the other head. And, um, the robots, uh, and I'll, I'll go over the remotes next, so, before we get into the robots, so the, here's the red remote, um, as you can see, it has two joysticks, um, I would prefer if it moved, if it could move backward, as you can see, it only goes forward, um, and this one, which moves the robot sideways. Thankfully, this one can move in either direction. And this is the power knob to turn the remote on. You can see it just turned on, so the LED lit up. And the same goes for that remote as well. Um, I'll go ahead and turn it off, because I just demonstrated it. Um, the remotes... Uh, take 
um, two AAA batteries, and um, so two AAA batteries for each remote, and the robots take three AA batteries. I'll go over the robots next. So we'll look at Jib now. You can see his body design is really nice. I really like how the, the arms can move up and down. And um, you can see, again, he has the button I demonstrated earlier, where I'm not going to demonstrate because you've already seen it, but you push the, when once this is punched, he has a mechanism in his head. Actually, I'll demonstrate it just so I can show you inside, which causes his head to pop off. And you can see that there's a mechanism inside where I push the button. It has an ejector seat where I push the button, and this mechanism engages and causes the head to pop off. So that's a really nice feature. So that's just a look inside. And um, the tracks on the robot, you, you can see it looks like he has tracks that move, but actually these tracks don't move. Uh, there's actually drive wheels underneath. And this right here is where the two AA batteries are that power this unit. So you can see we have the wheels and drive motors that move him around. And also, this is the speaker that the sound come as it comes out of. So, now we'll look at Jab. Um, again, pretty much the same thing. Uh, you have this. You can move him back and forth, which I'll demonstrate when the toy is on. And then punch this, head comes off, same way, um, drive motors, and here's where the, the two AA batteries are, and the speaker, and the power switch, um, I like how they have different facial expressions too, it really adds, um, it really makes them look really cool, and so, uh, now that we've, uh, looked at the operating manual, and the robots, and their remotes, I'll just go ahead and put this over here with the box. And now, I'll show the robots in action. So, um, I'm going to be playing as the red one, so I'll move, move the white one out of the frame. The white remote. And I'll um, turn the robots on and show you what they sound like when they turn on. So I have one on one side, and another... Actually, I don't think they're going to have enough room right here. I'll move them a little closer to the center. So, I'll turn the robots on now, and I'll demonstrate what... Actually, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just turn the red one on first, so I can show you what each one... What, what each of their movements do. Um, both, of the remote, ro both, of the remo both of the remotes are really responsive, and um, the signal is always really excellent with these toys. So I'll show you. Here's the power switch. Just go ahead and slide it to the on position. You can see that is a really cool sound effect when it turns on. Uh, so, first of all, we have the forward movement. You can see these are the this is the copyright notice right here for the robot. And the, this is the forward control. So when you push this up... Actually, the remote, the remote... I forgot to turn it on. But here, the remote is on. So when you move this forward... The robot moves forward. You can see him just sliding that joystick and he's just moving forward. So that's forward motion, and this joystick moves him side to side. So I'll show left movement first. Now right movement. Wait until he faces me. Okay, so now he's facing me, so I'll show the left hook, which is does punches with this arm, so. 
Again, I'm pushing this button for that. So you can see I pushed this button. And now I'll show you right hook. Which he'll punch with this arm. This arm right here. So that's basically an outline of what he does. So, um, and then once the head pops off, you'll hear another sound effect. It's basically uh, the defeated sound effect. So I'll put it in, and now we'll show you the robots fighting each other. Again, same power switch on this one. And the controls for one robot go exactly for the other robot with the, because both robots control the same way. So now I'll demonstrate the robots fighting each other in challenge mode, the single player mode. So without further ado, here we go. And once this robot starts approaching the other one, it's going to start fighting back. So you can see it's already starting to punch. It's it's doing the side to side motion. Uh, one thing about these robots is that they're really hard to control. Turn him around. I'll show you. And now they're moving towards each other again. So uh, let me just turn him around a bit. And then this might this fight might be really short lived because. Oftentimes, it doesn't take much for one to brawl down the other. And, uh, let's turn them around. These robots, the computer controls aren't really that good in either of them. Because I played as the white one, and it, it, the red one does almost exactly the same thing. They're both really stupid. I guess I'll just have to turn him around. No, not that way. I don't know. Uh, it might... These robots control horribly. I'm just going to have to punch and see what happens. And you can see he just got punched and the head fell off. And I didn't really like how that turned out, so we're going to do a rematch. And again, you can see the robots just move like this. So, rematch right here. So, I'll put them back in their starting positions, and we'll start back up. Okay, the... White robot just stopped, now it's moving again. Turn him around a bit. And my robot lost again. Okay, how about we go on one more time? This time we'll start with the robots even further from each other. And again, just wanted to show these robot these robots are really responsive with the remote. See? I can point the remote away and it still does the same thing, which is really nice. So now we'll uh, start the fight again. Hold on, let me check to see if it's still working. Yep, it is. I thought the light had gone out or something. So 
Sorry about that. Um, of course, these things take forever to move forward. dress around to make it easier for him to fight hold on guys I'm, I'm gonna have to fix something with this robot sorry everyone the robe the white robot was having some kind of issue I had to restart it anyway let the fighting continue the motor wasn't turning around so that his chest motor was it was stuck to this direction it wasn't moving he was stuck facing to the left so I had to reset him so anyway let's continue the fighting Oh, and let me turn the other remote off before I do that. Okay, the... Let me let me reset him again. I don't know if he's responding to the He's not responding to the other robots fighting gestures. Maybe he thought he was still in multiplayer mode or something. Maybe I shouldn't have turned on the remote. Although I had to do that to fight help. Okay, now it's working again, which is good. And I finally beat the white robot. So that's basically how the two robots fight each other. So I hope you enjoyed this in-depth review of my Mecha, Sharper, my Mecha Rivals uh, Jib and Jab robots uh, made by Sharper Image. And um, also, um, I'll go ahead and turn everything off now, but I just wanted to point out that if the remotes or the robots are left on for longer than five minutes they will power themselves off and so if you want to fight with them you'll have to restart them in order for them to work again so anyway i'll turn on everything off and i'll stop the video so i hope you enjoyed this review and with that being said that's it